before we went on air, I asked you to draw something, and I told you not to draw a car or a tree, because they're the most obvious things. That's what people draw. As a matter of fact, you can do it as a party trick if you want. If you're at a party and ask somebody to think of something, uh, they'll invariably draw a tree or a car. Now, when I started off on this, I used to start off with just simple shapes, Mm -hmm. and I would try and guess what those shapes are. So, for example, if everybody out there was just to listen to me now, and I asked them all to think of a simple geometric shape, and you could do this as well, simple geometric shape like a square, Mm -hmm. but obviously not a square, because I've said that. So, simple geometric shape, and outside that simple geometric shape, draw another simple geometric shape. So everybody out there should be thinking of two shapes right now. I would always try and guess or influence what people were thinking. You would get this about 40 or 50% of the time when you're starting off. So, for example, like most people, not all, but a lot of people will be thinking of a triangle and outside a circle. That's mm-hmm. just what they'll be thinking of, okay? So uh, what did you think of, by the way? You're a little bit more complex than that, so I, d- I wouldn't have expected that you thought of a triangle or a circle. You didn't think of those, so you didn't? Well, the circle was there. Um, yeah. It was a, a, a rectangle inside a circle. Rectangle, good. Right. So my point being that if I give somebody a very limited choice, They'll think of things like that. But Mm. with you, I didn't limit your choice at all. You did this while my back was turned. Are you happy, in other words, that I couldn't know what it was that you've drawn at this moment in time? Yes, I'm happy with that. Okay, good. So here's the idea. You're going to tell me what that drawing is. You just won't know how you're telling me, okay? Right. So here's what I need you to do. Just close your eyes for a second, and in your mind, start drawing whatever it was that you drew a few moments ago now. And it's important for everybody to realize he's got the piece of paper on him. I'm not going to go near him. Okay, you're redrawing that. Open up your eyes. Uh, Is this due to... uh, Is this a... Just answer yes or no uh, uh, is this a tangible object or is this something a little bit more surreal it's a tangible object tangible object okay good because I'm getting with you uh, I don't know if you can pick this up on the camera but don't move a muscle right now don't move a muscle but get the camera on him look at the way his body language is his body language is uh, two arms on the desk I'll describe this to people out loud uh, your two arms are on the desk so uh, there's definitely a, a shape in this and uh, it's multiple shapes but uh, mostly you're saying like, kind of like a circle so there's a circle involved in this isn't that correct yeah. Yes, good. Okay, and the way you smile at the camera, you smile at me more than one circle, and you're bobbing your head. Good. Okay, good, wonderful. And I'm not going to get the detail into this uh, because I'm just kind of going for your body language. You're, you're, you're speaking to me now. You do know that, right? Uh, I, I, I wasn't aware I was, but yeah, you're speaking now to me. It's, um, you're, you're speaking I'm, to me without actually that talking. That's all you're doing. Good. I'm going to keep drawing what I think it is that you've drawn. Now, I have no idea what this is that I've drawn. I'll show the camera there. I've committed myself. Okay, so I'll put mine face down. Actually, I'll fold it up. I don't want you to see what it is just yet that I've drawn, uh, but I'll hand it to you. So I can't change it or swap it. Now, you take yours okay. out. Is it in your, in your pocket or where is it? It is in my pocket. Okay, take it out and yep. describe to everybody what it was that you drew first. Uh, I drew a, a record. A record, so like an old yeah, school yeah. record. Yeah, yeah, like a, a, a vinyl. Now, that's pretty creative, I have to tell you. And all the time I've been doing the this... drawing's not very creative, but... No, but, yeah. but be honest, and it, it, you know, there's no way I could have known, but not only that, I've been doing this a long time. I've never had somebody draw a vinyl. Right. Ever. And I'll, I'll promise you that. Um, have a look at my drawing now. So you drew a vinyl, and tell everybody what I drew. A uh, vinyl. <laughs> yeah. And it's he threw it down disgust there. Was exactly pissed, the same. I'm, he's I'm pissed, pissed off. off. I'm pissed off. Yeah, because he can't figure out how he did it. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, it tends to annoy I'm, people who are a bit skeptical. Yeah. Here, let, let me try something else with you right now on okay. uh, lie detection, okay? I've got a, a, a key here. It's a key to my motorbike back at home. I'm going to take it off the key fob or key ring. I don't know what you call it. Here's a key fob or key ring that you call it here. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no I, I don't, I'm not quite sure. That this, is. a key, key ring. Is oh, that right, what you call right. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, we call it a key ring, yeah. Key ring, yeah. yeah. I was just wondering, because uh, in the States they call them key fobs. That's why I was really? asking. Yeah, so mm-hmm. I'm going to take the key off the key fob, and here's the idea. Uh, I'm going to ask you to hide the key in one hand and the key fob or key ring in the other hand. Take it. Okay, hide the key ring in the other hand, and do it behind your back. Yep. Okay, mix them up behind your back. And here's the idea. In a moment, not yet. Uh, you're going to bring out one of your hands. And this is a little game in lie detection. I'm going to gamble some money on this, so take it seriously, okay? Right. So when you're finished mixing them up behind your back, make sure your thumbs are over the gaps in your hands. Mm-hmm. So in other words, I can't see. And just uh, allow your hands to drop down by your sides. Good. Okay, here's the idea. Just look directly at me. I want you to just bring one of your hands up in front of you now. Just bring one up. Okay, now keep looking at me. Keep looking at me. Look at me. Focus on whether the key is in that hand or not. Focus on whether the key is in that hand. And now take up your other hand. Rise your other hand up. Okay, focus on whether the key is in that hand or not. Okay, in your mind, I'm going to gamble, um, let's say, $150 on this. $150. Without you saying a word, the key is in your left hand and the key fob is in your right hand. That's what I'm going for. Key in your left hand, key fob in your right hand. Is that correct? 
It is correct. It is correct. Okay, good. So that was 150 bucks, but let's make it matter even more. $500. Yeah. Seriously. And Live Nation are not going to cover this. I'll have to pay this out of my own pocket, okay? <laughs> so mix them up behind your back. Go. Okay, and don't drop it into your box back pocket because you thought about that didn't you <laughs> you bastard you I did may too. or may you not did. have thought about that you did think about that I know you did okay one in each hand yep. okay drop your hands down by your sides mm -hmm. okay and this time look directly at me mm -hmm. look directly at me raise one of your hands up in front of you now okay concentrate on whether the key is in that hand or not concentrate whether the key is in that hand and raise your other hand up also concentrate on whether the key is in your left hand or your right hand you would be a good poker player $500 in this but I'm guessing that you're the type of person to try and catch me out in other words the key is still in your left hand and the key fob is in your right hand is that correct? that's correct okay good <laughs> Do you want to go a third time? Yeah, or? go. I'm going to just go a third time. Okay, yeah, yeah, because you're, you're thinking, I'll catch him out on the third time. I'll catch him out. Well, there's only, yeah, there's two options. I don't, I don't know how many more times I can switch, switch it up. Okay, switch it up, switch it up, and then uh, both hands down by your sides. Okay, good. All right, now, and this is difficult because I'm not even getting to touch him. Most of the time, I'd be able to touch people. I'd be close enough to touch them right. uh, to muscle read. So this, I'm just yeah, gaining from your eye accessing cues. That's all I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, bring up one hand now, either hand. Bring up one of your hands. Okay, good. Focus on whether the key is there or not. I'm not even going to get you to move the other hand, but look at me. I'm going to bet $1,000 in this. $1,000 mm -hmm. right now. Oh, you had it. Mm-hmm. Oh, thanks for that. That's all I needed to know. The key is in your left hand and the key fob is in your right hand again. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> yes, correct. Um, here's your key. And, thanks. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here you <laughs> Um, I think it'll be interesting to do some of this uh, on a, a caller, someone potentially uh, even more sceptical than myself. Yeah, yeah, let's get uh, a caller in. Yeah, if somebody would like to call in three zero nine three eight seven nine. Definitely, uh, we can get involved in one of these. Uh, so while we wait for some calls, is there anything else um, exciting or interesting that you can um, that you can show us? Yeah, well, uh, let's see, let's see, let's try something. Um how are you at films? Are you good at films? Are you a film buff? Uh, not really. No. Okay. Well, I've got a bunch of films here. And these are film cards that I got at a, kind of a, a movie festival. I'm big into films. It doesn't matter that you're not, but I'll show them to the camera there. We've got a fistful of dollars, Casablanca. Actually, you called them out. I can't quite see from there. You can't see? Jeez, you need glasses at your <laughs> age? God damn it. Okay, we've uh, got the Wizard of Oz Wizard there, of yeah. Oz, It's a Wonderful Life, Top Gun, Notting Hill, Elephant Man. I mean, the point is that they're all different. Silence of the Rams, Jaws. We've got Taxi Driver. So here's the idea. Uh, I want you to imagine that these are your DVDs back at home. And I'm going to mix these up, okay? We'll give them a good sloppy old mix-up mm -hmm. so that there's no order to them. There's a completely random order. In a moment, I'm going to hand these to you when I do. Yep. You'll just cut them so you don't know which one is on top or bottom, and neither will I. So I want you to take them, okay? Just cut them. Okay, now do you know which one is on top or bottom right now? No. There's no way, okay? No I want way. you to take either the top one or the bottom one and slide it onto the desk face down so no one can see it. No one will know what it is. Okay, I'll get rid of the rest of them. Okay, we don't need those. Well, okay, now here's the idea. I want you to, when I look away, mm -hmm. you'll have a quick peek at whichever one it is that you've taken. But wait until I look away. Okay, I'll look away now. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yep. So you got it. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with that or not. Don't tell me whether you are or not. Here's the idea. I want you to visualize a screen between us. And imagine now that you're taking that movie and you're placing it into the, the movie player. And imagine that the movie is starting to play now. Even if you're not familiar with it, because you looked at the title, I want you to just imagine whatever scenes you can that are associated with that title. Mm -hmm. Look at, oh no, don't look away, look at me, look at me. Good, turn up the controls, make it big, bright. This is a, he smiled ever so slightly, not very much, but he gave a little uh, glimmer of a smile and his eyes are smiling now. So this is a comedy, is that correct? Uh, I, I don't know. Oh, you don't know? I don't know. Well, you're, and it's okay, your subconscious <laughs> mind is aware of things that you're not even aware of. In other right, words, right. pre-conscious processing is the processing of information through your subconscious mind. In other words, you can know something without knowing it, and you do know about this movie. As a matter of fact, it is a comedy, and you remember the, the name of the movie, though, yes? Yeah. Okay, in your mind, think of how many words are in the name of the movie. He's having to think about that and count in his fingers, so it's four or five words, is that correct? Uh, no. No? Oh, man. I was going, to, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I was going to go with the life uh, life of something. Does that make sense? Yeah. Life of Brian? Yeah, yeah. Yes? Yep. Yep, that's it. That is it. The life of Brian. That's four words. Is it the life of Brian? Yeah, yeah. And that is four words in the title of the movie, which he said no to. So he tried to catch me out. It just says life of Brian on here. Okay, well, it's supposed to be the life of Brian. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, life of Brian. But that was it. All oh, right. So, see, oh, no, actually, yeah. It says life of Brian on the, um, the, the larger picture, but the life of Brian down the bottom. There you go. So, yes, that there was you it. go. Um, yeah, we, we actually had a few phone calls in um, during that. Uh, if somebody else would like to call back, um, 
right now. That'd be fantastic. So we can do a little bit of um, a little bit more uh, mentalizing. Would you call it mentalizing? Mentalizing, messing around, mentalizing. playing with people's brains, mind, whatever you want to call it. Messing, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, look, I, I imagine that there'll be somebody else who will call in. So yeah, well, well the first caller that we get in gets two free tickets to the show. How about that? Two free tickets to the show. I can um, the first show here in Auckland. And I can vouch for that. It's um, I, I, I'm I'm perplexed as to how you've come up with all of these things. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hello, BFM. I can't believe someone didn't ring up earlier. Yeah. Well, I mean, there was a few calls. Uh, during, they did. We we missed them when I was messing with them. his mind. Yeah, yeah. I feel I'm, I'm I feel like my mind's been. <laughs> He's been mentally raped at this You're stage. Already messed Perverted. Up, Nick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so now we're gonna um, mess you with your mind. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So this is a quick visualization experiment, and here's the idea. Uh, what I didn't say when you're calling in is you're going to get the two free tickets, but only if this goes correctly. In other words, ah. if I mess this up and you mess it up, you don't get anything. I'll Simple as that. So this is a visualization experiment, if you like. So here All in right. studio, I've got a deck of cards. I'll show them here. And I will tell you now, there is one card already face down in that deck. Okay, there's one card face down. Yep. So if I was asked you to guess what that card is right now, I'm telling you, Invariably, you'd be wrong. You'd be wrong, okay? Yep. So I don't want you to guess. I want you to close your eyes and imagine right now that you're in a poker game. And imagine yep. that you've lost everything in the poker game. That'd be right. Good. <laughs> and I want you to imagine now that you're so angry, you grab the deck of cards and you run outside and you see a pond or a lake. And I want you to really imagine this in your mind. Imagine yourself throwing the deck of cards at that pond or lake. Have you got that done? Yep. Okay, good. And in your mind, see all the cards landing face down, except one card somehow lands face up on the lake or the ocean. Can you see that card? See it brightly yep. and vividly in your mind, yeah? yeah? Okay, name out loud, what is the card that you see? Seven of hearts. The seven of hearts. Now, a lot of people out there may think that somehow I influenced you to think of the seven hearts, or you know, maybe it's a common card, so I'm going to give you three seconds to change your mind, and I'll tell you right now, there's one card, as I said, face down in the deck of cards. I won't touch it. Three seconds. Two, one. Do you want to change your mind? Yes or no? Uh, yes. Oh, he's going to change his mind. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to change your mind to? Uh, uh, three of clubs. The three of clubs. Are you happy to stick with the three of clubs? Yes. Okay, good. He went with the seven hearts. Then he changed his mind to the three of clubs. There's one card face down in here. If the card is the three of clubs, he gets two free tickets. If it isn't, he gets nothing. It's as simple as that. Right. Okay, we'll go through them one at a time. Okay, let's get in here. Okay, the three of clubs he mentioned. Okay, you can see, can you confirm here in studio, all of the cards are indeed face up. Yes? As far as I've seen though, so far, yes, yes. Except, yes. Except can you for see that one? Yep. one card is face down. I can. And only one. Take it out, turn it over and tell them what it is. It's the three of clubs, man. Stop it. That is the three of clubs. I, Stop it. I, I swear to God. <laughs> Oh, wee. Oh, my God. I'm Thank, boggled. Thanks God you changed your mind. Otherwise, you would have went home with nothing. Yeah. I would have looked, looked no, foolish. No <laughs> I, 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 Stop but, it. But to, to give you a clue about how I did that. Uh, Do it. Uh, Tell if, me. If people rewind the tape or, or watch it up on YouTube or wherever this is going, it's simple. Basically, I said to you, see the the card brightly and vividly in your mind. Brightly and vividly made you initially go for the seven of, or seven of hearts. Uh, that's why it, it brought you down that route. However, that would have been too obvious to your conscious mind, so your subconscious mind decided to kick in and change your mind. And then, I did influence you to, to think of the three of clubs, but you'll all have to listen back and play the tape back and find out how I actually influenced you to think of the three of clubs. Alright, and the podcast uh, will be up on the 95BFM website tomorrow. Sounds good. To do that. I'm impressed. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Hey, look, you, uh, what, can we grab a, um, a name and B card for your free tickets there, brother?